and sneak up a push towards ending the game, which is very wise. So now we see a weakness of Nova East Force. Now we see them still settling on the same side that they have picked up in all of the two games earlier. But what can be the change? Because change is imminent. Change is required here in this game, especially for Nova Esports, if they want to win against KBG. But what will they change? I hope that they don't really struggle here for this next one, because during the game, we have seen them struggle quite a bit with the bans, but the Aatrox, I really, I really am surprised that the Aatrox is just getting a bit of this, uh, this vision for everybody on the side right here of kbg but now looking towards the next game akali is going to be a must ban for both sides there's an availability again of a senna for nova esports if they ever want to take that again senna was mm -hmm. not the problem i think the picks that comes right after is the reason why they had problems here for nova esports but gragas yeah it's available and that's a must pick for the side of nova absolutely that is a change that happened here in this game so far availability of the Gragas as nova esports has let it be open by taking the the akali instead and this is the thing i think it's it's such a big importance here for nova esports to deny that akali from anran given this is his really good performance on this champion but kbg is backing on getting this garen now as their front line so yeah it's a good front line and they have good backline damage still with a Mega Inferno Bomb. Yeah, Nova Esports still gets the Senna. But KBG does have good instances already with this first two picks for now. So again now, Nova Esports is fully respecting Anran in this game. Not only have they banned away the Akali, they're taking, they're planning on taking his Yone as well. Yep, Yone is gonna be taken by Nova Esports, probably gonna be going on the hands of Long the side of Nova, but KBG, yep, that is what was left open. Having the Zed on, on the hands of Andran, that is something to be afraid of, especially when you have a very squishy target like a Senna on your side, and even a Yone on your side. This is going to be a problem later on for the side of Nova Esports. Oh yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen in this game kbg is still going with utmost aggression we might actually see the andran's zed now uh given his Im his impeccable performance in this champion i believe this is his this is one of his best champion as well i mean it is a 50 50 in an instant because zed kind of you know falls off a little bit and uh, or loses effectivity in the late game if the enemy does possess a high amount of sustain on durability and that's something that nova esports possess right now with the senna with the gragas and they have really good damage as well present with the yone so far so with the last bands nautilus vi gwen and the wukong i think both of these teams are pre preventing any early game pressure uh especially with the champion picks vi is a really good band but kbg Responding by taking one that has been very consistent on the side of Long, the Kha'Zix pick. Yeah, the Kha'Zix has always been a pick that we've seen from Nova Esports, but now that they're turning things around, I think a Riven, yes, is not a really bad pick for Nova. I Chase could also potentially be a pick here for Nova Esports for them to deal a lot more damage if they want to burst down KBG as fast as they could. So I'm really looking towards those picks if ever they're gonna go for that. But there's still a Renekton that is available. I was about to say, because Renekton is a good counter for the Zed in the mid lane. And the reason mm -hmm. why you want that to happen is that you don't want Anran to pop off. Once Anran pops yeah. off, that's end. That's the end of the game there. Ooh, this, is, this is one thing that we have been, you know, uh, being very hesitant in, in, in the other tournaments, especially in the side of APAC. But in in the in the WR, WRL CN conference actually in the China, in China region, this prompt pick is actually really good. I mean, especially with the on hits and the procs and the concussive blows and how mechanically skilled the players are, especially with their synergy, they're able to craft a to, and fully utilize a prompt pick, especially with these many melee champions picked up by Nova Esports. Yeah, you have the Riven, you have the Renekton, you have the Yone, which are 
equally aggressive and very scary to con to uh, to be against but when you have the brom you have that extra assurance that maybe you can you can prevent them from fully bursting people out yeah and that's what you want to happen though whenever you have a gragas a brom is always going to be a good pick because whenever you put up the ball you could just counter the explosive cast completely and that's why it's really hard to fight against this Abram whenever you have an explosive gas available because that could throw off the place that you want to make with that Gragas. And that's why it's a smart pick for their side right there for KBG to actually just mitigate that in their favor. But remember, they do have a lot of assassins going for them here for KBG. So that's something to look forward to. Considering that they have backlines and Nova, that's a good target. That's a meaty target that we have right there for the side of KBG. And what might be the uh, final game? I mean, it is the final game in this series. And we are about to determine who is going to come on top. Will it be KBG or Nova? Of course, if you're yep. a fan of these teams, make sure to uh, let us know in the comment section in both of our live streams. Of course, these teams would really, uh, really appreciate it. And like what you mentioned, you know, the the strong suit of the Renekton against Zed is present. Nova Esports are using the Ribbon instead here so far. Uh, having a bit of uh, combination and just uh, a power of friendship to take some vision out here on the top side jungle of that turn. Yeah, something needs to take place here. With Nova Esports just wanting to go for and try to just pressure out this lanes that we have, it's very smart for them to actually take down those Raptors because once they take that down, that gives them a bit of an advantage on the early stages because that Kha'Zix is not going to hit level 5 or level 4 pretty easily. So that's what they want to do. They want to delay the Kha'Zix as much as possible for them to not get an advantage against this Yone. That is a goal. I mean, Long, when he actually used the Kha'Zix, he was very efficient in his uh, in his clearing and positioning, especially on the fights. And that's something that that Adaton should be trying to 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 possess as well in this game. And nobody else knows it. I mean, he's very capable of using this champion. So they're trying to to prevent any sort of resource that he can actually get to match the the uh, the clearing of the jungle here of Long. And well, Kha'Zix does uh, clear jungle camps very, very fast. And I think it's going to be very important for Nova Esports to, to attempt in slowing him down for the meantime. Yeah, it's really fast though, for especially for for the Kha'Zix to make sure that this is going to be a hard lane. That's the reason why whenever the Yone gets big, the Kha'Zix gets big on both sides. Because Kha'Zix just gains a little bit more compared to this undecided Nova, which is why the Todd is not level 5. I think if you take a look at where Long is, he's level 5 already, which is a big, big advantage mm -hmm. on a Kha'Zix matchup. Uh-huh. And uh, that's very important here. I mean, Nova Esports being very efficient in the first few minutes of the game. We do see them possessing very aggressive champions, but this is the thing. We're not seeing them, you know, being... Very aggressive so far. I think they might be just be waiting for the five minute mark since that's the time where they can actually be much better grouping up against KBG. But I'm also nervous about this because KBG can turn the tides around uh, when given the chance to do so, especially with the, the uh, with Andran on the Zed threatening into the back line. But who knows? Nova Esports just wants to play this slow in the early game. Yeah. Now with that part of Gonna be starting all over again for the side right now of Nova. KBG wanted to take advantage of the early game with their champions, the Kha'Zix and the Zed. As long as they got the first objective, they're gonna be the ones who have the advantage here. So this is gonna be something or a challenge right now for Nova Esports. Are they gonna be able to do the same thing that the team was able to do a while ago? So that's gonna be something to look forward to and I'm excited to see honestly what they're gonna do here. Yeah. You, you. Catching Yami, this is support battle. Yep. But who? Yuyu might actually be in trouble. 
Knockbox can happen in Nova Esports, even with Neon having the Blade of the Exile available. It's not going to be a really set and done kill for them. So this is going to be really hard moving forward right now. So Nova Esports, what they want to do is set up the lane and where Zed is. Because when you have a Zed on those team fights, they can just take down whoever they want to in faster than everybody else. So that's going to be the challenge here. How are they going to be making sure that Neon is not going to be having the best day here? Flash happened and Neon is on a disadvantage on this objective fight. Yeah, and timing on this, the uh, key ultimates as well in uh, uh, Nova Esports. Given some of their ultis are on cooldown, KBG does have leverage now in setting up a position for this dragon, dragon fight. I mean, it's a mountain dragon, so it would take some time. But given the Kha'Zix expect that they do possess, I think Nova Esports might just need to, to trade out on the Rift Herald. They are doing so, but still, given that they do have the scaling lineup with a Senna, it's very unfortunate for them. Honestly, it's okay. Honestly, I think that's okay. Because if ever they can take down a tower, KBG has always been taking down towers against a Nova Esports every time. So that's why Nova Esports are just going to be taking this uh, win for themselves and just make sure that this is not going to be easy. KG and alone HP, they're still not going to be continuing on the fight. But again, back to my point, they just want to get that first tower in order for them to get that easy gold infusion to themselves. Yeah, and KBG just wants to st uh, stall. For now, I mean, they are respecting the the three aggressive champions that Nova Esports possess. They just want to scale up and make a make some room actually for the power spikes to happen for for Shauma, for Andran, and for Daten. because they're gonna be looking for holes on the on the positions here of Nova Esports and later, and they have the tools to actually punch it. The Zed. And the Kha'Zix, and even the Mega Inferno Bomb present with the, with the Ziggs. So, despite them being, you know, not being on the really good end, in in the in the uh, champions uh, selected and picked up, they have angles that they can actually take in this game. It's not as linear as Nova Esports, but it is as equally effective if given the room to do so. Yeah, given the right chances. Look at this. What they want to do here for Nova Esports is just get the game as slow as you can get. The, the slower the game is, the better it is for us. Because they do have a lot of champions that can go for the late game. Or at least I could say it's going to be the Yone. That's going to be the late game insurance here. The KBG might have problems there in the late game because the Kha'Zix and the Zed doesn't really scale well the longer the game goes. And considering that these fights are just going to be on melee range, there's not a lot of isolation targets too for this Kha'Zix. I'm, I'm scary though. Um, a little bit scared on the lineup here of KBG in terms of late game. Because Nova has a lot of sustain in the line. They have good good disengage tools with the Gragas as well. So yeah. if uh, KBG will fall off a little bit by a small, even the slightest margin in terms of, you know, trying to to pile up their damage on, on Daton, on, on the Zed, and on the Mega Inferno Bomb damage of, of Shauma, if they don't Ooh. get that one pick off, it's already a big deal for the, the result of the team fight. Because the goal of Nova Esports is to try and sustain and then follow through with the, with the team fight. If they can out sustain KBG, then they will, ha they will have no reservations at all going on to them. But the group up is here. That's engaged. Yeah. Neon gonna be the target. Won't be able to hit any of their CCs. They have the Glacial Pressure to knock him off. And Neon is gonna die here with the death mark on his head. That's gonna be a headshot for the side right here of KBG. But a lot of effort actually just to get one kill. That is the thing that I am uh, going to be very nervous about the next uh, upcoming minutes because right now yeah you do get a kill but you expended so much abilities and effort just to get that kill and it's a numbers advantage situation as well and nova esports will have that in mind that if they group up then there will be hesitations on kbg now we, as we check the replay it was a really good timing especially with all those abilities working for them with the uh, uu as well tanking the tower so that andran won't be able won't take as much damage under the tower yeah. such 
still a clean execution coming in from KBG. They'll have their ultimates anyway on this next fight, which is really nice for the side of uh, the side of KBG. So they have a fight that they can still win if ever. That's a lot, not a lot of damage on the UU. So right now with KBG. Losing that wall was really important for Nova Esports just for them to start the fight with Yami in mind. So this is going to be the starting the fight onto the Rip Herald. This is going to be KBG try to actually take this. They do have some damage to work with. Mega Infernal Bomb to push him out. They have some damage to work with. That's going to be the steal Ooh, right there for it? KBG. They might be able to take this out. They have the damage on Shadow, low HP and a lot of members. And they're going to go in onto the back line. They have the Blade of Action in front of Neon. And they're going to go in one damage onto the back line. That's oh. going to be the damage on the ground. Falls down. And KBG wants to go for more and Nova Esports wants to take them down but they do have low HP so they're gonna be backing away from there. Such good timing actually there coming uh, from uh, that turn getting uh, the steal on the Herald and having to did having to deny that from Nova Esports is really good timing because so now because now they can use it in the mid lane to pressure Nova Esports even more and as we see the patterns emerging here on the side of Nova Oh, they even lost that tower in the mid lane. So unfortunate. And as we see the, the patterns of them, you know, this time ditching the dragon and going for the RH, this time it's going to be very difficult for them to actually group up. Maybe yeah. they will have still the courage given the high sustain present in their lineup. Yep. That as well uh -huh. is very low. But they're going to engage. Glacial Fisher, Ooh. Make Infernal Bomb out the back line. Not a lot of damage go in. That's going to be one down. Not even using the explosive cast in their favor. KBG. Gets the sword on his head, and Nova Esports are gonna be forced to back away. They're still not down for the fight. They're still juggling towards what they are gonna do, but KBG can start this whenever they want to. Yeah, Gragas is down. Long just trying to get some damage done, checking no soul unbound, the though. Dragon Pit. Yeah. Since he doesn't have the Soul Unbound, he might yeah. be not be able to get this Dragon anymore. He is it. Bit of time, trying yeah. to be a frontline. Fighting it out. Running Shadow. Yuse going in front. They still have the ultimate that they can work with right here. That's going to be the face shield onto their side. Oh! Going for the knock up the onto the back line. That's going to be it. And that's going to be the Drake onto their side. Nova just took the win right there. Such impeccable timing as well by every single member in that fight. Yami got in, in the mix as well. It was so unfortunate. Not expected by KBG and as we check on this replay they were trying to chase Neon Yeezy was holding the fort when they used the Dawning Shadow that was their go signal the fate seal connecting Ooh. and then the follow up by every single member of Nova Esports even Anran almost died under the hands there of Remake and that fight allowed them to now not only possess the Ocean Drake, but now even possess a 5,000 gold lead against KBG. Yeah, they got the gold lead. This is a first that we've seen that they gained the advantage against a team like this. Two towers are down for the side of KBG. And this is not what you want to happen when you have an early game composition on your side. This is not what you want to happen. And Nova Esports are just taking clear. They're confident. They have nerves of steel. And they're just powering through this mid game. Powering through indeed and powering up as the minute goes by since Remake still possesses Senna. So late game ensured for them as long as they don't give windows of opportunity for KBG to turn the tides around. And this is the thing about the lineup that they possess as well. If they are on the back end, it's so difficult to get those skills. Because these champions are very item dependent. The Zed, the Kha'Zix, and even the even the Ziggs. If Nova Esports are ahead in gold, they're going to be able to buy those uh, those items that can make them much more durable towards those burst damage from KBG. And we see them having the confidence slowly building up towards their side. Now we will be seeing them contesting those dragons even better in the next upcoming fights. Yeah. Let's see what's going to happen on this next fight. They stopped for a bit here for the side of KBG. They're not looking for any fights just yet right now. And they are wanting to go for more on the next one. So let's see what's going to happen for this next one. Baron is going to be and the ice. The ton is now low in HP. Knock up from long to get the kill. And Nova Esports, even with the Unknown, was able to get one in the end. And that's going to be a KBG losing their fight, losing their ground, losing the jungler. And that's going to be a goal for them to take the Baron here for Nova Esports. Yeah, they can actually do so, but so far they are respecting the members here of KBG. Despite the kill that they got earlier, Yami zoning them out. They want to get full vision in this red side jungle of Daten. 
and they want to apply more pressure especially with the waves building up there towards top side kbg angling down trying to get some vision but now the action yeah turns. knock off happening glacial fisher is gonna be there but it's not gonna be helpful for the team there he's gonna die you you was able to flash Ooh. away that's gonna be the end of it for this fight kbg survives for another day yeah but still they're feeling the pressure now Nova Esports has full control of every single situation. The gold lead still keeps on rising up towards their favor. The minute, every minute goes by. And this is the problem with the composition now of KBG. They're feeling it as well. No one can go in. No one can check the bushes. Maybe a KG. Maybe, uh, maybe Yu But if they do, they're still putting up a risk of being bursted down and being utilized as a stepping stone for Nova Esports to get towards the back line. And we saw it in this Baron fight earlier. And we can see it again as the uh, the time just goes by here. In KBG, I think they just... I'm trying to see an angle that they can actually take here. Maybe an assassination towards Long? If they do find him um, being isolated? But I think that's the only way they can actually take down uh, uh, Nova Esports. As well as maybe taking down Remake. Because so far, in all of the three games, we have seen them batten against KBG. Remake has been very, very safe in the back line. All being protected by their front lines. Now let's start with this though. How are they going to be starting on the next, next startup that we have here for the side of KBG? The next one that we're going to be seeing is another Drake that's going to be coming up in just a bit. It's still that early in our game and we still haven't really found anything pretty great for the side of KBG. I do hope that they will be able to come back from this, but looking at how the game progresses, it's going to be easy enough for Nova to actually just use this in their favor. Yeah, absolutely. And, I, and we're just a few seconds away from seeing the Infernal Dragon spawn up in Nova Esports. They have been ditch they started this game ditching the dragon given the respect towards KBG's early game uh, advantage. But now, since they're the ones who have the advantage, they can just start it up. They're very safe in this manner. And we're even seeing the respect of KBG just giving this entirely. That is how big of a gap is present right now with the situation here of both of these teams. Yeah, they do trade it up for a tower, but that's not much of a, a big deal here for Nova Esports. They can just give it away since they have the scaling objective. Yeah. Drake's already under hands and that's going to be a lot to look at here for the team. Because with how it's going to go for Nova Esports, this is just going to be easier for them. They're just slowing down the game after making it fast a while ago. Because it's no problem. It's not going to be a problem with a 7k gold lead with scaling champions. It's not going to be a problem for you guys to just slow it down. Let them just make mistakes. Wait for them to do something. Make Wait for them to step a little bit more forward. And that could be a chance for Nova to just pounce on them whenever they have a chance. Let's see if KBG can turn the tides around. We, we talked about change before the game number three started. And Nova Esports made the necessary call and made the necessary adjustments to take on KBG. KBG made some change as well, but so far it's not looking good for them. The double assassins and uh, that and trying to get this, uh, this Kha'Zix from long hasn't been really manifesting some good instances here for KBG. But if they can pull through just one team Ooh. fight... Oh! Oh! The confidence wow. from Long, though. Fate Seal. Yeah, I got scared. Just <laughs> going in and wanting to take down the Todd as fast as they could for Nova Esports. But with that happening, Yitze is just taking down the bottom lane turret. And that gave them, gave them another more map pressure on their side. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, con I actually want to give respect here towards uh, Long with his confidence going in. Because if he gets the kill onto the Taunt, like what you said, then that's going to be Baron for sure. And nobody's going to be able to check the Baron aside from the Mega Inferno of Shoma. That's, that's the only thing they can use, actually, to, to, to check an area or maybe try to do something in, in, in a particular side. But now, as we do see Nova Esports focusing on grouping up and not really sending anyone to split push on the other side, 
that gives some breathing room and time here for KBG to actually recover some of the gold. Yeah, we're seeing Nova Esports still having a gold lead, building up towards 10,000 right now. But KBG is still being able to get some resource, and that's the most important thing. As long as they get the burst towards the crucial members of Nova Esports, then they will have the fighting chance. It's up to the timing, the, the positioning, and also the target selection here of KBG. Because their goal is to cripple Nova Esports. Given the big standing that Nova already has right now in this game. If they can cripple slowly the members, then maybe they have a fighting chance. Top lane though, it's a 1v1. Yeah. That KG... 1v1. Yeah, KG's well, just gonna oh. lose here, but Yitze right there with the stasis just to stop them from getting the kill onto him. Look at the pressure that Yitze is doing while the Elder Dragon is still alive. Remember, they can just go for it if ever they want to. They can just take this, but the Taunt is at the ready if ever Remake just pounces onto him. So this is gonna be a chance for the Taunt to go for the steal. We have it. They're slowly pushing towards it, but they're still not ending it as fast because Glacial Fisher is going to happen. Oh. And that's going to be the damage from the Mega Infernal Bomb. Stasis is going to be there, but is that going to be a kill on Yuyu? What a great kill. Win Slash from Neon. That's going to be a man advantage before they start this trick. This is going to be the last fight that we're going to be seeing for today. This is going to be the Tarn that goes in, still has a lot of HP onto that Elder Dragon. He's going to be pushed back, everything. And this Elder Dragon is just going to be free! Body slam to stop him from trying to go for the steal. And Here that's the Elder Dragon from Nova. And Long is just going to be taking it onto the back line. Neon is going to be chasing down Xiaoma. And that's going to be the kill. That's going to be the win. Nova Esports are the better team in the end. And Nova is just trying to get the kill. And it's still alive for the 2v1 with the Elder Dragon on his hands. That mark on his head. But it's still Yitze staying alive in the top lane. Long was the better team.